Welcome to Hester Brothers Cartoon Theater, everybody! I'm Alec, this is my brother Lucas, and we are back with more Centaur World. It's episode 7, or as we like to say, the penultimate episode. Right before the finale, we're almost there, it's in sight. Bro, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Life's been, life's been a lot. I'm a very busy guy, and I did want to say something about that. We got a nice comment from Kermit with the kicks, who's kind of been involved in our whole thing. I don't know what else to call it. He asked if we were too busy to see comments. I usually don't read comments in general. That's Alex's department more. Cause I'm sensitive. But I felt like the place that, that he was coming from was a place of less about are we listening to them and more, you know, actually like a little bit of care about our well-being. And for all of the fans that actually are invested in our lives and stuff like that, I do really appreciate it. Like all the support is very, very nice. And it, it's just so sweet that you guys would even have those thoughts or feelings about us from YouTube. So a major appreciation to everybody who's been super, super, super cool to us this whole time. And uh, yeah. everyone else who wants to be really cool, there's a big old red button that helps you be cool that you can click on and it makes you cool just automatically. So go, go down there and do that too. You know, there have been a lot of people, especially as we have gotten a little bit slower releasing content over the last couple weeks, just checking up on us and be like, hey, you guys Yeah, good? it's really sweet. Yeah, it's so nice. Content creation is hard and there's a lot that goes into it. This is one of the things that Lucas and I could not be more passionate about. So just know we're here for you all. Like HBCT means so much to us. Absolutely. We can't wait to just keep making so much content. And I feel like now's a good time to say, uh, for those who haven't joined our Discord, it's in our links. Uh, yes. There's a lot of really awesome people in there. So if you are the type of person who cares about our well-being and stuff, or just likes talking about cartoons, yeah. like, I think you might have a really good time chatting with some of the people down there. They're really enthusiastic, not just about our show, but about yeah. cartoons and the animation yeah. world. So, And even if you're the kind of person who just wants to lurk and see what people are talking about, maybe just throw your opinion in every, like, we every couple weeks that's cool too that's kind of what i do with all of that said we are back more centaur world let's do this thing i'm ready let's go let's go to the hoot nanny oh the netflix logo oh my lord Ooh, sweet netflix logo Red baby <laughs> i've never seen that before okay oh christmas the music is Christmas. Daddleton. Yes, son. <laughs> I got a question for you. Please, just one. Go on. Ask me anything. Okay, then, Daddy. What's a hoot a nanny? A hoot nanny? Yes, because I've never been <laughs> look at, look at, one before. Look at, look at the dad bod the that they've son, given <laughs> Dirkleton for this scene. I really want to tell you. Somehow they made a giraffe tar into a dad bod. <laughs> Yes! To the hoot, nanny, and that makes us slightly less sad. Slightly. Dude, I so feel that. This might just be the least stressful. <laughs> okay, come on. A Moltar pudding pie <laughs> is delicious and equally moist! Come on. <laughs> Rosa Center Moltars, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, the flashes. <laughs> oh, all the musical changes depending on which region we're going to is freaking awesome. I am the most interested in how the shamans are gonna play a role in this. Me too. Just obnoxious. <laughs> I was hoping we'd see them back. Yes! And the music fits their theme so well. Like this one's poppier, other one was folksier. True. Yeah, they all they they all have their own form of music. I will say I I thought this was funny when I saw it originally, but these characters kind of annoy the shit out of me now. <laughs> Which I think is ironic. Yeah. What a privilege. Whale tar. Does Whale Tar have other powers, or are they just like purposeless in life now after that experience? I've been hearing snippets of what they are saying a hoot nanny is, and I think I'm even more confused than I was when I was Honestly, right? Yeah. They all seem to be talking about completely unrelated tangents and 
<laughs> I've lost interest in the topic. Okay, I can't hold it anymore. I'm going to tell you what a hoot nanny is, okay, Stabby? Really down. A hoot nanny's when all Back to the Christmas music. Shave their body hair and what? Let them start roller skating while they bob for bears. And then the whole okay. time, there's like this creepy old guy watching from the corner. No. It reminds me of Giuseppe from Adventure Time, if you know the reference, please tell me. I was literally gonna say I got Adventure Time vibes from that. Of course, son, we're not savages. That's a hootenanny. This reptile's 40. It's the most wonderful time throwing that out young boy child's life. <sighs> wow, what an intro! Here we go. Transition. Dude, I'm ready for the hoot nanny. I could almost not talk in the beginning. I was so excited about whatever was happening. Roller skates, snow golf, queso, body hair. Oh, I don't have any of those things. We're not prepared. Wait, you have body hair? <laughs> right? Oh, this is going to be a is, this, is that not? I guess so. We should call it off. I see hair all the cheap. Everybody's ready here. We're not calling it off. Okay, everybody grab a mattress and a tent and set up wherever you want. Oh god, this is like the <laughs> This is like the train wreck festival that I imagine going to. <laughs> you show up and there's no facilities. It's gonna be like the fire festival. Except there you go, everybody goes for the one mattress. Yeah. How many giggle cakes should I make? Maybe I'll whip up some pesto. What is pesto? What is pesto? Does Why is pesto in this world? world who could is, an event how's like cheese made in this world? Where does dairy come from? So many questions. Um, Mary Pop is coming in with the event planning. Let's go. What are they doing? Oh, this is a hoot nanny. We don't need a stage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hervilden, it's common sense. If the stage is there, where would we put the- Cheese bombs? Cheese bombs? Why did I call uh, cheese? Yes. Oh, this was in the trailer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Everyone knows that cheese bombs and glitter make hoot nannies better. That's, That's why, why you, you always, always put, put them together. Wait, what? What? Hey, I know you. I know you. They I hate each other. Do. I don't. Whoa. So they're friends now. Do they what? Hate each other? That's all it took. I need to go make myself a new magazine. Whoa, I'm awake. Major <laughs> whoa. Oh, Chad. No. I'm no. so sad about that. You get one. You get one. They okay. just introduced Chad loving Zulians. Grandmama, I found a new ball. Oh, no. Huh. These are the cat tars. Do you know what a cat tar's favorite beverage is? Mm, no. It's juice. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah. What kind of juice? And this is Sunfish Burr guy. He likes games. Yes, he's back. Wait, why is he in a tank? He's never had to be in a tank before. He likes and she Just for safety. Not like Wamowing. Uh -oh. Ooh. Whoa, okay, we're getting back in sass now, too. Let's go. <laughs> well, if it isn't Durpleton, Durpleton. <laughs> Dad. Oh, no. For you. you were looking for me. <laughs> me too. Yes. <laughs> I don't like this. Can you help me find a roll top desk? Preferably cedar. Mommy. They have another kid? Oh. My poems full of regrets about the things we've left behind. Man, that voice actress knows like, how to play like, yeah, mom. Like, like, like me, <laughs> like your son, like little Durbleton. Like my last cedar roll top desk. My Daddleton's not gonna get you no desk. Yeah! Oh, look, he has a pet now. He's oh, dude, my pet. grow up to 40 and just slay them. <laughs> slay them with your son. Snake tongue you know that I'm a dad. I bone. Know what it means to be a bad dad. For oh, instance, I've left a knife in my son for weeks now. It's still <laughs> in there. That's crazy. 
Oh no. I have regrets, but I'm still not as bad a parent as you guys. <laughs> still still married. The best it dad, uh, an adult lizard, mistake for a child, uh, possibly what? Let's go. Oh, I'm so proud of him. There's you so much about this that's so beautiful. It's so unbelievably yeah, baffling. Like 44. Thank yeah. you. 47. Oh, I'm fine. I'm Our worlds are connected now. We'll see each other all the time. Oh, uh, there's a huge war coming. You don't know what's going to happen. Shoot nanny. Yeah. Shoot nanny. Shoot oh, nanny. no. You know, like shooting. Bows and arrows. Pew, pew. <laughs> The war that's coming. Look, maybe you don't know this because you have a horse eye view of things, but you need to look <laughs> horse at things from a view. different perspective. Not really looking for any ideas. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they don't pick up Ched. Yeah, I'll just let myself. Thanks. I mean, he can fly. I mean, they should at least slow down. I don't know. Ableism. What's the big deal, Chad? It's just a bunch of tars about to sing another song. And I'll tell you of the most beautiful guy. Comfortable, Doug. He's oh, a new character. Look at this lady, huh? Yeah. Watch him dig with his powerful thighs. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> need that. Go for tie. <laughs> You'll fall in love, everybody, with his beautiful Wow, those are beautiful eyes. You just watch. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, it's is this like a clashing of cultures where everything is going to go terribly? Is that what's happening? Wait a minute. Guess we'll see. A cultural differences causing problems, I see. Love it. <laughs> oh shoot, that's where I live. <laughs> Let's go. I think I'd be with the trees. <laughs> oh, here we are. I wouldn't have gone. Just so a bunch of bird tars could nest in us and use our bodies <laughs> as a room. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Beautiful. This is definitely the, like, recap episode. That's- it's- it's giving me that feeling now. A little bit. It's just a compilation of remembering who all of the- Wait, what? Mom went missing years ago? <laughs> That's not a cool little thing. <laughs> Making bread. I do love the cat tars so much. I'd probably- that, that's definitely where I'd want to live. I probably would live in the trash place, but I'd like to be with the, you know, classic classism. I see what you're saying. <laughs> it seems like everyone is having their own hoot nanny. First of all, yes. yes, this is happening. <laughs> hi. Yeah, normally I say hi first, but okay. Hi. Believe your eyes. Our ship name I is Stripes on Stripes. That's cute. I manifested hoot nanny magic today, but horse needs to figure out how to create synergy synthesis. Smooth. Will horse be able to take all of this and figure out how to make yeah, it? Yeah, this army? is such a recap what? episode. That like literally was them saying this is a recap. Oh yeah, no, I'm okay looks... with it though. So what are you gonna do about it? I would be horse. if Chet was with Zulius. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise. Well, no. Nah. Well, we'll just see. We? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there she is. Put. Seriously. My mail does not go in oh, there's ours back. the drawer. The spatula goes in the spatula drawer. Look, I know your money. Nice scaling. Work, but this is my home. You're treating Size scaling, it I mean. like a stall in a state sure. fair bathroom. I'm not familiar with um most of those words. Would it be all right if we discuss this later? Later when? You leave for months at a time, and oh. then when you come back, you're all sad. You think that's present? Hey man, it's the struggle oh. of mental illness. Chill. 
I've yeah. been trying to make sense of an endless Yeah, world. dude. Chill. I failed to keep Centaur world yeah, safe. Yeah, dude. I failed to kill the no. Yeah, she's got a lot on her Stand mind. By. Oh, here we go. Dude, I hate this guy. He's the worst. <laughs> hold, hold. <laughs> yeah, come on. There All you go. Right. You know what? What are you going to do? We'll figure out this mail thing later. And I guess we're going to be late. Because oh, are they like dating? But we could just go together. The, the, the hoot oh, that's kind of so sweet. Maybe you'll even want to wear shoes again. Who knows? Whoa, there was a lot oh. there, actually. Hmm. Um, does it feel like they got canceled a season early right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, actually, there's a lot in great. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's unpack that at the end, because I've got okay. thoughts. Okay. You don't need to yell. I need to be the center of attention. Got it! Megaphones! Okay, they, they are... Okay, they're good. They're good together. I hate it. Yeah, look, did you see Chet's angry face in that short little thing? Oh, what a yeah. great detail. That's me right now. Okay, okay. I love the colors. Me too. Oh, we saw this in the trailer? Or at least that outfit. I am truly was a part of my theories. A part, a small part of gathering us together today. All, we're all small parts. This wouldn't be possible without Durpleton, Stabby, Glendale, and most of all, Wama Wink. The Hoot and Nanny was her idea. Oh, <laughs> not about me. <laughs> Every event planner ever. <laughs> my friends <laughs> Oh, oh, well, you don't have it's fine. I get it. And it's a really good question. You guys probably don't even know what an army is. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, yeah, no, I do. My whole life has been a fight. So. <laughs> whole life has been a fight. <laughs> Shoot, I would live with the trash people. <laughs> I hate it. I don't, actually. It's great. <laughs> good. Also, if you like my new haircut, let me know in the comments. I know what centaurs are capable of. The reason I know is because of these guys. <laughs> you all have different traditions. Well, my herd has a tradition too. It's something they. Uh, it's something we do every day and every. Sparkle night. blinkies? Ah, make splashies! I do that all the time! <laughs> uh, yeah, that too. Uh. It is part of a healthy morning nice. routine. Oh. Oh, Chet didn't get to hold Julius' hand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, new friends, I'm glad we made it. Cute. Hey, new friends, as long as you are with me, I am home. But they won't be once you go home. Irony. I see. <laughs> you made it to oh, I love when they do this, dude. Classic, like, well-structured musical format. <laughs> Totally agree. Aw, <laughs> oh, yes! I freaking love this. This is good. This feels like such a culmination of our journey on this thing too, to me. You know? I will say, I, I said that the, earlier that this was a recap episode, and for it, it's a really good recap episode. It does yeah. tie things together well. Really well written. Oh, we're back. There are so many things. I'm really impressed with this moment. So epic. Oh, and that little splash of rainbow at the top. Nice. They're not actually going to be friends though anymore, right? Is that is that really we'll all see. it took? That's too much. Oh, I guess that is all it took. Okay. Everyone get a good night's sleep. Is a little quick, I'll admit. After giggle cakes and, uh, Dude, wouldn't it be great if we could bridge the We're cultural differences? Oh! 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 But the answer is yes to your question. Oh! Ooh. Wow. All I don't right. know why that cut to Durpleton was so funny to me. <laughs> the Durpleton. Yeah, exactly. 
It could put us at a real advantage because the, the minotaurs, minotaurs don't, don't have, have air support. My <laughs> gosh. Right on. It's like you never oh. left. Yeah, because now you can talk to me about my war plans like that. we never used to do. Hope you have a lot of those. <laughs> it's a pretty big difference, snacks. right? General it's true. Army is gonna be hungry. Laughter snacks? Well, uh, all I made are giggle cakes and, um, mm, <laughs> That doesn't look like pesto. I mean, she just learned what it was, so. Okay, I, you're right. I should, really, I should relax. <laughs> <laughs> Your pesto! Oh, did they get ambushed? Yeah, pesto's not the top story anymore, my bro. Oh man, I wanted to try that pesto. Whoa. Jeez. Whoa, intense music. This is so like all of a sudden. Oh my god, dude, they're going. Dang. Oh. Dang. Man, I can't believe we dropped that pesto. Stop. The general. We need oh his my god. I knew the general was gonna double cross him. They stopped. Wait, wait we don't know that yet. Oh, I so called that. In my head, I never said it, but I swear, I thought it was gonna happen. We have all of Centaur I thought it while editing. We have magic. If we put our heads together, there's no time. Stab him. That's our plan. That's our game plan. New game plan. Stab him. Good luck. This. Oh no. Don't Show this to their people. All right, who's gonna die? Who you think's gonna, you think someone's gonna die? You can call it. Not, call it. Not not right now. Well, no, in the in the next episode. And tell them it's happening. I think we're losing more than one named character, is, to be well, honest. A lot, but not far enough. Horse, what are you doing? Do it. Trust me, I can stop him. What do you mean you can stop him? Take care of each other. I uh, fake out. I'm not buying it. Thank you. For being yeah, sure. It's too soon. Make, it's too make soon, your, right? Go make your fake sacrifice. I ain't buying it for a second. No, it's too dangerous. Don't do it. I'm so excited. This, this, uh, this will be cool. Like, I'm stoked to see whatever happens. Because I have no idea what in the world. Oh. The woman's here. Still no name. Oh, what? Oh, please let this be the end of the episode. Cut us off. Cut us off right here. Magic. Oh my goodness. Wow! Okay. 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 A lot of information. So, can I just start off? But for me, the headlining story of that episode was actually the music. I felt like they really brought music was great. all of it together. Like, Definitely. every song was just epic and yeah. uh, brought in so many different vibes together. Uh -huh. I was so into it. Yeah. So, the musical nature of Shine Through. I love how they used it as a moment for recap. It was a good transition into the finale. I think that, look, I'm being 100, this is critical, Lucas, I thinking, I loved it, I love this show, okay, let's just, yeah. like, establish that, I love the characters, there's a million <laughs> things I can say positively, but they did introduce a lot of things, and it was a lot of information, and you and I are, like, watching the show and doing a show about it, so for us, it's, yeah. like, super easy to know what's going on, but I wonder, and let us know in the comments, um, if that episode seemed rushed to you, because Alec and I, like, I've edited every single one of these. I've seen the plot. I know it very well because of how involved we are. But if you're not that involved, was that a ton of information to have in a single episode leading into the finale? I, yeah, I can hear that. And so, and you call, call it the recap episode. That's not a criticism, right? No, it's, not necessarily. Like, do you, think re you think recap episodes are good in shows, at least sometimes? 
Sometimes. I, I think it usually, varies. The thing is, I watch a lot of anime, and usually recap episodes are, like, literally, f like, they're just flashbacks. It's not really an episode. It's it's just, like, showing you the major plot points in a sequence. Creatively integrating the concept of reintroducing all of these different elements of the show in a single episode before the finale, they did it in a way that works with the ongoing story arc without having to regress to flashbacks. And I thought it was done in a really clever and unique way. I thought it was extremely, like, well written and put together in general. This was designed to remind us all of things that we need to remember before the finale hits. Which is a lot. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. It's also here to try to like introduce these new ideas so that they are able to land the plane. And you mentioned, does this feel like they got canceled and weren't ready for it? I'm pretty sure that can't be the case, because- No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I didn't mean like, that I thought that that happened. I meant did it give that vibe. I've seen shows that have had that happen, where DuckTales, for example, the new DuckTales, definitely wanted an extra season, and you felt the point where they had to rush the rest of their ideas through. You wonder, could they have used one more episode, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but the plan was always this many. Yeah. So, well, the last that would have been long, planning, so. if so. Yeah, yeah, and I guess I think that a lot of how I feel about this episode is going to depend on what happens in the finale. I, I really feel like this is about to be really, really heart-wrenching in a lot of ways. I think we're going to lose some named characters. And I think so. And maybe, maybe one major one, if that. Yeah, I think Water Baby's going to die, potentially. Yeah, I was thinking Battle of Hogwarts, and brief Harry Potter spoilers if people care, but like Harry, Rod, and Hermione make it out okay. But, Not everybody does. Some of yeah, our favorite characters some, die, for sure. Yeah, like na named characters who you fell in love with that weren't part of the main group. That's Maybe, sort of how I feel like we could yeah. get here. I don't know. Yeah, some of our favorite characters that didn't have like the most major role. Exactly. A shaman or like Jebri. <laughs> Do you imagine Jeffrey Oh, died? not Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> not give him his jacket and do him like this? Like, Just let's kill him not. without warmth. Yeah. They bury him in his jacket that Glendale right. still has. Uh, All right, well, I want to leave this to you guys. What did you think of this episode? Do you think that it was a, too much for you? You know, Alec and I have so much bias and overthink everything. For the more passive audience member, how did you guys feel about it? You know, where do you rank this episode in the series as a whole? Totally agree. Do that, and we will see you next time for a long, extended finale episode uh, of Hester Brothers Cartoon Theater. Lucas, this is great. Shooting tiny versions of myself from my hands. I already I'm wondering if you're wrong. This can is I my actually, mistake. Can I do this? Can I edit this in? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how much I want to put into it, but look, <laughs> if, if you, if you, I, I don't have time to edit that. I'm just gonna cut this whole thing. If if anyone's watching this and I did just edit that, like and subscribe right now because that's <laughs> way more time than I have in my life. Bye. Bye. Bye.